Hello, in this video here I'll be doing a demonstration on how to tint your lights in Photoshop. Now this particular version here I'm using is CS5 on a Mac. Uh, this also does apply to previous versions uh, as well as uh, the Windows version of Photoshop. Uh, now in this video here I'll be doing the demonstration on the taillights and fender light itself. Now this does also apply to uh, say if you're tinting your headlights uh, or fog lights. First what we want to start by doing is selecting your marquee tool here, making sure you have your base layer selected of your image itself. Just so want to go around and select your lights. Uh, what I'll be doing here actually is uh, selecting the tail lights and leaving them on one layer itself and then putting the uh, fender light on a different layer. Now to keep the tail lights together so we want to make sure that the tint does uh, go with the same to both tail lights themselves and uh, with the fender light here we'll be doing actually a different little trick with it so I'll just show you that in a minute. So once you have this selected here we'll go to edit, copy, edit, paste. So it automatically makes a new layer for you. Now we'll just label this one as tail lights. Then we'll also do the same with the fender light itself. So we'll select the fender light, moving back here making sure you have your background layer selected. Go to edit, copy, Edit, paste. And you can see when I do a edit, uh, copy and paste, it should automatically bring up a new layer. Now if you are having problems with a new layer, you can go to the new layer tab down here, which will create a blank layer. And when you paste your selected image, it will uh, put it right directly in that layer itself. Okay, just to show you what I have selected now. Now, moving on to the taillights itself, what we'll do here is actually uh, delete the surrounding area around the lenses itself, and we'll do the same with the fender light. So select your lasso polygonal tool. We'll go around here. just continue deleting all this area out. So then once we have the area selected, we'll just go delete, and then we'll continue on. And we'll do the same for around the other tail light as well. Now just skipping ahead here a little bit, just put these in one folder here, just to make things a little easier. And once you've selected everything, as you can see, I've already had this done ahead of time here. So you should be left with something that looks like this. So once you turn your bottom layer on, you'll have something that looks like this. Now the layers, uh, make sure they are on top of the, on top of the base layer here for your lights uh, because what will happen if you do edit this uh, light layer, uh, they won't actually show up because it'll be underneath the image itself, so you want to make sure they are on top. So next we'll move on. Uh, with the tail lights here, what we're going to do is we'll double click on it and we'll bring up the layer style options. Go to color overlay here. Now it's automatically selected as red. Um, say if you're doing a red tint, what I do here is just do about a 20%. And then select OK. Now you can see the orange does show through here a little bit. So what we want to do here then is select your sponge tool. And I'll make sure to select it to desaturate. I've done it about 15% here. You can probably do it about 20%. You don't want it too strong because it'll pull actually too much color out. I do just drag it across your tail lights here. And it will extract some of the color itself, so it actually does make it a little more red. So you should have something else like that. Now, if you're moving on to something else here, now say if you want to do a black tint, and you just go down here, click the red, go all the way down to black, and then you should have something that looks like this once you're done. Now, moving on to the fender light itself. Now, for a different ima image effect here, we'll uh, actually extract all the color from it. So what you want to do here is making sure you have your fender light layer selected. You want to go to Image, Adjustments, Channel Mixer, and you want to select the monochrome option at the bottom of the box here. Once you click OK, you can see now it's turned from orange to a gray color. Now just to give it a little more effect, depends on your lights here, you can go to Image again, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. You can play with the brightness a little bit here, you can brighten it up a little bit. You can also play with the contrast here. What the contrast does is actually edit the uh, 
the blacks and uh, the whites in the image itself or what the layer is. So you should have something else like that. So once you're done, your vehicle should look like this. Now just to give a difference between the taillights here, I'll just turn the layer off and on. And as for the fender light itself here, just to zoom in, so it's a little easier to see. Just have something else like this. Now, thank you for watching my tutorial video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them. Also, uh, if you want to keep in touch with further videos, please subscribe to my channel and rate my video. Thank you.